This tutorial is a step-by-step -step setup video for the new Canon Avalon 821. We will be showing you all of the products you will need, how to set it up, and how to run the miner at its max hashing rate with the most efficient power consumption. This is the Avalon 821. It has a hashing rate of 11 terahashes per second at a power consumption of approximately 1200 watts. It is one of the most efficient miners on the market. We are using a power supply unit with a minimum of 8 plugs with a max output of 1300 watts on a 110 volt power outlet at a 93% efficiency rate. Power cord must be purchased separately. In order for your miner to mine to the correct pool, you'll need an Avalon controller. These controllers can deploy up to 20 units. Controllers do not come with a power adapter. You will need to purchase it separately. Additionally, you will need to download the correct firmware, which can be accessed at blockforge.com under our support forum. To connect your miner to your Avalon controller, you will need an AUC3, an AUC3 cable, and a micro USB to USB cable. A single AUC3 may connect up to five Avalon miners. First, you'll need to make sure your Avalon controller is set up with the correct firmware and is configured to mine for the correct pool. Then, plug in your micro USB power adapter and Ethernet cable. Once completed, connect your AUC3 to your miner using the AUC3 cable, and then to the controller using the micro USB to USB cable. In order to run more than one miner on a single AUC3, you'll need an additional AUC3 cable to connect the main miner to the additional miner, then another AUC3 cable from that linked miner to the next, and so on and so forth. The AUC3 will blink one of four colors, each with its own meaning. Now connect eight of the six pin plugs from your power supply unit to your miner. Remember, your power supply unit must have a max wattage output meeting or exceeding the miner's power consumption wattage in order for the miner to run. The power supply unit typically does not come with a power cord. Once the power supply unit is plugged in, the startup procedure begins. This may take 5 to 10 minutes depending on the miner and setup. Here you can see with a 93% efficient power supply at 117.9 volts, it is consuming 1,238 watts. The hashing rate can be monitored here on the Avalon controller's dashboard, which with this setup is hashing at a steady rate of 11.44 terahashes per second, which is almost half a terahash higher than the advertised rate. For more information, support, and tips, please visit our website at blockforge.com and join our community forum or visit canan.io.